All right, so today we're going to be getting into um, two different tests. One is a titer, COVID titer, and one is a neutralizing antibody test. Fairly related, but there is a distinction there. So what exactly is a titer? You guys have probably heard of this. Uh, if you're anything like me, I heard of titers when I was getting my kids into school. Uh, but a titer is a lab test that measures the presence or amount of an antibody in a blood. Uh, it can be used to prove immunity, or at least um, prove exposure or vaccine. Um, the titer testing employs serial dilution, so we'll get into that a little bit. Um, and it will continue to be diluted until it falls out, and that's how you kind of figure out where the titer level is. So when is a titer ordered? When is it used? Um, probably most commonly is when you lose your vaccine or your immunization records, right? So you go to enroll your kid in kindergarten, and you don't have proof that he got the measles or mumps vaccine. Instead of revaccinating them, they typically would do a titer. Um, I think the same thing would happen with COVID, right? I think we have hundreds of millions of people here in the States getting vaccinated. I think some of them are going to lose their immunization records. And I think the need for titer testing um, will manifest itself here soon. So um, this is an opportunity to have that offering on your test menu. So when those people do need that testing, you'll be able to offer it. Um, other reasons where you might need a titer for an employer, for school, your doctor may want to look at it before you travel. Um, and as we mentioned, it measures antibody level to determine maybe if a booster is needed. So that's another big part of this is how long is the vaccine good for? Still to be determined, TBD, but um, a lab test to be able to measure is going to be a key part of that to know when and if a booster is required. So what is the opportunity um, for the titer? Um, the reimbursements code 0224U is your traditional antibody titer, and it's going to pay $42.13. That's across all MACs, and it's uniform. Um, where there's a unique opportunity is this neutralizing antibody SARS-CoV-2 titer, and that's the 86409, and it reimburses between 79 and 105 by Medicare. I think it's a better test. You know, it's going to measure. We're going to talk about neutralizing antibodies in a little bit. Um, and why we think that's better, but it's an interesting difference, and I think it's a little bit of a signal from Medicare CMS that they have established these codes and um, that that kind of points to a, a need for this testing to occur. So uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit. We'll talk later in the presentation about what it costs to run those tests or to reference those tests, and I think that will be helpful as you determine whether this is a good fit for your laboratory. So the second part is what exactly is a neutralizing antibody, right? So we hear a lot about antibody testing. Why is neutralizing antibodies any different? And I am uh, I'm kind of shocked that this has not been a bigger conversation all along. Most of the testing that we've seen for antibodies, most, most kits that have come out, most tests that are on the market um, are traditional antibody tests. And a neutralizing antibody is an important specific defense against viral invaders and the neutralizing antibodies uh, not only bind, but they also bind in a manner to block, right? And only a small subset of the antibodies that are there are neutralizing and capable of neutralizing. So I think that's a really important distinction because I think the antibody testing has been used incorrectly and people assume that if you're positive for antibodies, that that uh, correlates really highly to you know, being immune or having resistance when that's not necessarily the case. So um, we think that there's going to be a need to look at the specific types of antibodies that do provide that immunity. Um, from the FDA, uh, that we're going to go over a few different things. This is a tricky, tricky time right now, but um, they had approved, I pulled this, it might be a few weeks old, so the numbers might have changed a little bit, but at that time, they had approved 50 antibody serology tests. And of those, only one of them um, was a neutralizing antibody test. So of, of everything on the market that had received the FDA UA approval, uh, only one measured the, the types of antibodies that really matter, which is mind-blowing to me. And uh, I think that's an opportunity there. And some of the messaging from um, Dr. Stenzel at the FDA was the ability to detect neutralizing antibodies can help us gain additional insight. So they're absolutely looking at this. and um, you know, that this is going to be a good tool in the fight against uh, of the vaccine um, tracking and knowing when 
boosters are needed and when we might um, trail off to a level where um, our vaccine is no longer effective.